Okay, folks, today is Tuesday, September 18th, 2018, and we're moving right along in our Eureka Math book today, and we're doing 1.12, Module 1, Lesson 12. And your learning goal today is to use what you know about place value to determine, to figure out how big the product should be. A lot of times when we solve math problems, you can check your work by even just thinking, is this reasonable or not? And that's a lot of the work of what we're going to be doing today. Okay, this is a math problem, 31 times 4, and it does equal 124, okay? I'm going to show you how it's related to decimal multiplication. I can rename 3.1 as how many tenths? So we've been practicing this all week. 3.1 is the same as, Aradna? 31 tenths. 31 tenths. So... If I do 31 tenths times 4, that's 4 copies of 31 tenths. Do you agree? When I did 4 copies of 31, I got 124. So 4 copies of 31 tenths is how many tenths? 124 tenths. Okay. Therefore, 3.1 times 4 in standard form is 124, and I need the 4 to be in the tenths place, so the decimal point goes right there. Do you see how we can, if we know 31 times 4, 31 ones times 4 is 124 ones, we also know that 31 tenths times 4 is 124 tenths. And then we can write the answer in standard form. 0 0.31 is the same as how many hundredths, everyone? 31 hundredths. Okay. So then I have the problem 31 hundredths times 4. That's going to equal 124. What's my units now? Is it still tenths? Is it still ones? Now my units is hundredths. Very good. So 31 hundredths times 4 is 124 hundredths. Okay, thank you to those of you who are taking good notes and writing this down. So over here, how do I say this number in word form? 0 0.31. That's 31 hundredths. Is that the same problem as this, 31 hundredths times 4? So what's the answer? Well, it's 124, but now my units is what? Hundredths. So where do I need to put the decimal point? Rahi? Very good. So therefore, 0 0.31 times 4 is equal to 1.24. Once again, I want you to notice how we, once we know what the units are, it helps us determine what the answer should be both in word form, or unit form, I should say, and in standard form. Directions say to choose the most reasonable product for each expression, okay? And explain your thinking to show how you know. So what I would like you to do, please, first, is copy down 2.1 times 3. How can I rename 2.1 in unit form? 2.1 is the same as 21 tenths. With a quiet answer hand, how did you know that 2.1 is the same as 21 tenths and not 2.1 ones or 2.1 hundredths or 2.1 thousandths? Geffen? Because the one is in the tenths. Awesome. The one is in the tenths place. So do you guys agree that 2.1 times 3 is the same as 21 tenths times 3? Okay. So if I have three copies of 21 tenths, how many tenths do I have? Well, what's 21 times 3? 63. And what's the, uh, what's the units? Good, 63 tenths. Once again, do you see how it's super important to write the units down? If you don't write the word tenths, you're not going to know what units it is. Okay. So which one of these answers, they're all 63 somethings, which one shows 63 tenths? Maddie? 6.3, very good, okay? So once again, we knew the answer was 6.3 because we knew the answer should be in the tenths units, 63 tenths. A lot of times we might do correct multiplication. We might do 21 times 3 is 63, and then we forget about the place value. You see, if you didn't know the place values, you might have written one of those other answers as being correct. Let's talk about what's reasonable. 2.1 is pretty close to what whole number? 2.1 is pretty close to what whole number? 2, right? So what's 2 times 3? 6. That means our answer should be pretty close to what whole number? 6. So if I forgot my place value and I didn't write tenths and I end up with the answer 63, is that reasonable for something pretty close to 2 times 3 to be answer be 63? 
No. That's why you can use estimation and what you know about place value to help you make sure you know your answer is correct. Let's use what we know about estimation first. Seven's a whole number, we don't need to worry about that. But 6.053, that's pretty close to what whole number? Six. When I use these wavy um, equal signs, that means about. That tells me that I'm doing estimation. So it says that seven times 6.053 is about the same size as seven times six. Do you agree? What is seven times six? 42. So that tells me, is my answer exactly 42? No, it just tells me that my answer should be about the same size as 42. Now that I know, now that I know that my answer should be pretty close to 42, which one of these, oops, 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 so many oopses. Okay, which one of those answer choices is the closest, oh my gosh, hold on one second. Which, one, which answer choice is the most reasonable? Aradna? Three hundred seventy-one thousands is closest to forty-two. That's correct. Okay, but we can also use what we know about place value to make sure we're correct. To solve this math problem, we have to do eight point three times four because we know her brother is four times as heavy as her, so we have to multiply her weight by four. Let's first use estimation to find out about how big our answer should be. Eight point three is pretty close to what whole number, you guys? Eight, and then four is already a whole number. So what is eight times four, everyone? 32. So our answer should be pretty close to 32 kilograms. Okay, let's keep that estimation in our brains. And actually, one thing I like to do is to see your estimation on your papers by writing it like this. Once we have our estimation, we can find the exact answer. 8.3, how can I write that without any decimal point? That's the same thing as 83 with a quiet answer hand. 83, Luke, tenths, very good. Okay, so I have to do 83 tenths times four. Four times three is? 12. 12, I'm gonna write the two, but then regroup the ten, ten ones as one ten. Four times eight is? 33. Plus one. 33. Okay, so at this point, I see my answer is 332. But what was my estimation, Kazu? I know my answer should be pretty close to what number? 32. 32. Is 332 close to 32? Yeah. So if I wrote 332 kilograms, I would know that's not correct. But because I know my answer should be pretty close to 32, where would I need to put my decimal point in order to make 332 pretty close to 32? Where would I need to put my decimal point? Charlotte? Right here. Very good. We can double check our work because I know what units am I in, Samarth? Um, tenths. tenths. And so in order to write 3.32 tenths, or sorry, 30, 30, 30, 332 tenths in standard form, I know I need to write it as 33.2. Be careful, a very common mistake fifth graders make is at this point they write 332 tenths, that's correct, and they say, oh, I need to put my decimal point there. And so they say, this is my final answer, 332, sorry, 33.2 tenths. Is that your final answer? No, my actual answer is 33.2, it should be in ones, right? So if you put the word tenths there, that's not correct, okay? Another very common mistake fifth graders make is they actually do this part all correct and they say my answer is 33.2. And then Ms. O says, good math, but minus half a point. And then on the test it would say units. And I would say plus 0 0.5 out of 1. How can I make that plus 1 out of 1 and get all full points? I have to write the units. What should my units be, Prisha? Um, Which stands for? Kilograms, very good.